everybody. Hi. Welcome to my house. Yes. <laughs> Can I show you my shell and crystal collection? Yes. Because as you know, I've been buying along with the rest of you. So I thought we'd give you a little tour today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what my mom's collection looks like. She has a lot of shelves. So I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. All right. All right I'm going to flip you guys around. Okay. Okay, well. So I'll give you guys just a side view right here first. So this is my mom and dad's collection. So she's also an artist, so you'll see some art thrown in here. And um, all the paintings in the house are actually by my mom as well. So we can actually maybe show them that. Sure. Okay. Sure. So we'll do the shelves first. And <laughs> Midge says the shelf is bigger than her. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Stand next to it, mom. Yep, so it's big. It's big. <laughs> and Midge, if you're on, look, we love that. One of our very favorite pieces. So thank you so much for making it for us. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's start up top, shall we? Yeah, this is kind of my pink section. All right. Yeah, we've got barnacles and a silk plant and some abalone. So this, um, this is a large purple barnacle cluster you yes. have here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this is a really big cluster you have. Yes. And this is all one piece? Uh, it, I actually glued a little bit of a second piece on it oh, that I had. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I hot glued it. So she had two pieces and then she glued them together mm -hmm. to make an even larger piece. That's really smart. Yeah. So I'm going to put that up there. And then over here, your abalone shells. I noticed that yes. one is pink. Yes, this is kind of my pink shelf. So this um, one is colored with resin, right? Yes. And then this one is naturally polished. Yes. And they're two different species of abalones. Okay. Fair enough. I like the pink shelf. Thanks. Then moving down to the second shelf, there's a lot of points going on here. Yes, I've been collecting points lately. Yeah. So let's see. We've got tourmaline and quartz, flower agate, strawberry quartz, pink quartz, um, cheating, <laughs> pink tourmaline, amazonite, laramar, celestite, carnelian, carnelian, uh, labradorite. Tiger's Eye, mm -hmm. Howlite, mm -hmm. Thousand Layer Agate, mm -hmm. and uh, Agatized Fossil. Fossil. Yes. Right. So those that's the point collection, so, um, at least on this shelf that I see. Uh, yeah, I have more other places. More other places. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the case? And then back here, what's yes. back here, Mom? We have the Milk Conk. Milk conch is this one right here. I think so. And then next to it, I think that's a queen, uh, queen conch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that's a brown milk conch. Yes, yeah, a brown milk conch. They look a lot like queen the yeah. conchs. Yeah. So we got the white and the brown. Right. And, and then back the, here, these guys are the little quartz carvings that that we have there with the crystal quartz points. So this is a, a rhino, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so this is carved out of quartz. Yeah. And the back, um, here, do you want to hold it? Yeah. The back has its crystal points still. Yeah. Which is really neat. It's like. Yeah, really pretty. It was carved out of the matrix. Yeah. So that's a cool rhino there. Yeah. And then this next to his squirrel friend up here. Yeah. I so this one. Is, is gorgeous. It's really got long points. Those points on his tail are and really I, nice. I actually polished this and the colors came out much better. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. Oh my goodness. Very, very pretty. Oh. Uh, and he sets up so nice. Even the bottom's really pretty actually. Yeah, so <laughs> put him up here. And then what's the pink in the middle? Well, that's a little something. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like um, a quartz geo that was cracked in half and colored. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So that's that. It's very bright and happy. It's, it's like a, a bowl for these guys. Yeah, like they're eating out they're of it. They're eating out of it. 
And then over here. This is a Sunray Venus. This is one of the largest pears I've found on the beach. And I just kept it because I, I collect a lot of these, but this is just the prettiest, prettiest one I've found. So what beach did you find that on? Right here at our beach. Yeah, nice. um, Reddington Shores Beach. Yeah. And then I see a large white finger starfish. Yes, That's wow. like beautiful. It's huge. Yeah. It's really large. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That's so big. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. You had to have something that big to stand behind all the points, you yes. know? <laughs> yes. And then we have um, a rainbow aura mm -hmm. quartz cluster. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I'm such a sucker for these. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, woo. Zoomed in real close on that one. Yeah, it's got real, real pretty colors. So this is real quartz that was heated up, and mm -hmm. it turned, it was, you know, turn these colors by human but it is a real crystal mm -hmm. <laughs> i love it yeah so that was the first and second shelf yeah moving down to the third shelf here yeah so uh, this is a flower that i made oh my god this is the um sunray venus that i collect on the beach which one is the sunray venus well you can see that this is the biggest one i found Mm -hmm. which is hard to find. Oh, this oh. is what I normally find. So these on the outside is Are this those. shell, but they're smaller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then the uh, urchin spines. And this is a orange uh, jingle shell that's also very hard to find. Mm-hmm. And I just like to make giant flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I make a lot of them. <laughs> the bigger, the better. Evidently, I do a lot of that. You can so. make curtain tie backs <laughs> with those. <laughs> yeah. And this is our, our large piece of rose quartz. That's huge. Yes. We just got this. Absolutely gorgeous. That is so pretty. Yeah. Big old chunk. Big old chunk. It's got some real pretty color there. Mm -hmm. And then the shells back here are really interesting. Yeah, this this is a Lambus millipeda. Yep, a Lambus millipeda. Look at that. I love that. This is the most common lambus out there and there's mm. about i think like five or six species right yeah you got like your black your orange your purple yeah. and then this is the most popular one yeah and then this is a strombus it's yeah a, it's a rooster strombus so a rooster conch so a strombus yeah. is another name for a conch not pretty right and then you can see why it's named after a rooster look at that it's like when they flap their wing up it's everything is so pretty on it. But yeah. So that's gorgeous. That's so that's a rooster conch. Mm -hmm. And then I like and how you have everything labeled too. Yeah. It's good I to... can't remember. This is a strombus listeri. Oh yeah, listeri. So these come in white or brown. Look at that. Shiny. Oh, and that looks a lot like the rooster conch. Yeah. Only more smoothed out and more pointy. Mm -hmm. Not as. Uh, not as pointy and sharp. So I like to label everything. It just it's more fun than I could just come over and mm -hmm. and see what it is. It helps to memorize everything. Yeah. And, and then uh, this is a piece of sulfur. We love the sulfur. This is real. The color is real. Um, it doesn't smell. There's a tiny, tiny. You can tell it's sulfur if you really if you really know mm -hmm. so faintly. Smell oh. it for me. I mean, not really. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I love the yellow on that. It matches my curtains and everything in my house. <laughs> and back here. This is a saddle oyster. I like it. Oh, I love this. It's just. It's almost like a real saddle on a horse. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's stronger than you think. Maybe a miniature horse. Yeah. A baby miniature horse. A baby. And then this is a. A deer antler knife. Um, it, it's made uh, in Oregon, is that? Yeah, so this was oh, an made. Obsidian. 
Yep, so it was handcrafted in Oregon, and the deer um, antler right here was naturally shed, and then it was twined together with a piece of obsidian, also hand carved, to make into a blade. Oh, and, you know, years and years ago, this is what, you know, Indians and, or, you know, early, early settlers would have used, but nowadays this is just decoration. But that mm -hmm. is a beautiful piece that would be passed on from generation to generation. I love the uh, obsidian. AKA me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it, not my brother. <laughs> I call dibs. Yeah. And then over here, we let's have see. a few little crystals. Ooh, lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Yeah, a little moon. I like the moons. Mm -hmm. It looks like the, the sky above the ocean where you live. Yeah. <laughs> I love the frog. Oh, frog, frog clam. clam. I don't know why. I just love it. I know. I do. And the, the fiber conch. I love that. Yes. It's gorgeous. See little, how little she cheek. labels it, guys? <laughs> That's such a good idea. If you don't want your label to be out, yeah. you could just kind of hide it in the shell or underneath it. Yeah. I try to do that with all my, crisp, uh, my points, too. So down the road i can just say oh yeah oh yeah that's what that was especially when the colors are close yeah yeah and then and then this is oh a, um, a channeled whelk this is a, a fig i'm sorry channel fig. yeah this is a fig it's a, a gorgeous specimen yeah i find these on the beach a little bit they're always small and they're always broken yeah so this was a really good and it's light it's it's it weighs nothing but uh, it's got that beautiful sheen. Yeah, they do break easy. They do break I'm surprised easy. You, you found, you have a whole one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and this little fella. This is, do you remember what he is? Um, is this the a Listeri? Uh, it's cross, it's, um, I can't remember. See, I can't. Mm -hmm. I have to get, I have to label more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. We'll get back to you guys. We'll get back one. to you We're on both that. having brain farts. <laughs> I see a shiny guy under. Oh, yes. This is uh, a little uh, pear. Yes. A little owl limpet pear with and gorgeous green. It's dyed with a little bit of green on it, and it matches the plant. <laughs> mm. It's like topsoil. It's so pretty. Beautiful topsoil. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So that was shelf one, two, and three. <laughs> and then we have one more shelf down here. Okay. So this is a pear, uh, a pectin uh, scallop with barnacles. And, and I just decided to see if I could do a watercolor and And I'd say it turned that. out okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold so it that's next that. to the painting. So, so you... I mean, look how identical you made it. And so you can even see the barnacles yeah. peeking out right here. And she made it poke out a little bit more right there. So you can really get the whole, the whole feel of it. <laughs> yeah, so that was fun. And then this is a Bursa Bubo. Bursa Bubo. Bursa Bubo. It's got a very pretty peach. I like these shells. Yeah. They're unbreakable too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Which is definitely is a comfort. <laughs> yeah, so that's that one. I see a fluorite starfish. Fluorite starfish. You didn't know there was fluorite starfish at the beach, did you guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's got some green and purple. It's got all the colors. Oh, that one's like perfect. It has literally every color in it. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Oops, price oh, and the price you paid. <laughs> the price on the back. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and these are the little mother of pearls. Oh, yeah. Gold lip mother of pearls. Mm -hmm. Those are so fun. I like the yellow. I love the yellow. Yeah. Usually they're more gold, but these were yellow. I love it. Yeah. We both said that. We have the a little wood pelican here. Yeah. You just picked up at a local surf shop or a little boat. I got boat. it from you. Me? Mm -hmm. oh. I got it from you. She got it from me. <laughs> 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 and these are, I try to put all my cones together so I can kind of see what I have. I, it, I think they're more fun if I just stick them all together so I can. They do look really appealing all together like that. See all the that. different kinds that I have. 
Yeah, you got um, goodness. You have a ton of cones. I, I need mean, to label them, but I haven't done that yet. There's very few you don't have. Yeah. And so. then we have a not a large knobby starfish back here. Yeah, that's a big one. I know. Yeah. Is that the one you've had for a long time? Yes, I've had it for a long She's time. She's had this one since she was a teenager. This starfish in the back. Mm -hmm. And so that's been hanging around for a while. Still yeah. in good condition. All right, then uh, and then we'll go to this other shell. So the windmill was here. Oh, the windmill. That's so why there's a blank. We had a live sale last <laughs> night, and there was a windmill, so that's gone. Windmill, sorry. <laughs> um, this is just a decorative tile. Yeah. Oh, I gave this to you. A loggerhead marine center. Yes. Yeah, so I bought this from a Turtle Hospital gift mm -hmm. shop. Um, so the profits to this went to save the sea turtles. Yep. And this is from a local artist um, somewhere in Palm Beach. Yeah. We got these in Alaska. Yeah, so um, <laughs> mom and dad, I mean, my, myself, my grandmother, yeah. we went to Alaska, goodness, like fifth, 17 years ago. Yeah, and we, we got these. So these are carved. This is a totem pole. And I don't... Is that heavy? It is heavy. It is heavy. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know what this is. But it's heavy. And then this guy is very detailed. Midge, if you're on... She is. You could do something like this with your shells. That's a seal. Uh, Eskimo. He's got his kayak. And, and this is the water. That's really pretty. Yeah. That's all. Idea. Mm hmm. Then the next shelf we have, that's just a plaque in the back. Mm -hmm. What do we have back there? This? I actually can't see it because I'm so short. This is um, <laughs> Ed. Dad. <laughs> this is um, a plaque for killing the second largest non typical white tail oh. in Upton County, Georgia. Texas. Texas, sorry. And they gave him a plaque because it was an award-winning size uh, cool. deer. Very nice. Yeah. My dad travels all around the world and hunts. Yes. So this is one of many plaques he has, as yes. long as, as well as... Um, uh, we have many, many <laughs> trophies, on, well, trophies on the wall. We used to we'll put have it that way. <laughs> everything on the walls caribou, deer. But that was at a different house. Yes. And a different life. Yes. Up in the, in north, the woods. Up in North in Florida, the, in the woods. Yep. And now it's country. beach life. Now we're in the beach life. Yep. So we're not uh, hanging right. moose on the walls <laughs> anymore. <laughs> this is our mother of pearl. Love it. Love it. Just love it. We got an aloe plant in the back. Unkillable. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a, a turtle I made out of a mushroom coral. Shark's, shark's eye. Mm -hmm. And some, um, what do you think that is? Amaturine or... Um, it looks like maybe um, Amazonite, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what it I is. I believe it's Amazonite. But that was fun. And then we have a carrier... Oh, oh, this is a carrier shell. Carrier shell. And he carried a lot. He was, yes. He, he, was, he had a hefty load. He had a big load. <laughs> yes, he did. Actually, it looks like a hefty load of barnacles, too, which makes them even heavier. Yes. Poor guy. I know. That's a good specimen. <laughs> And this is an Amazonite fish. I love him. That is so beautiful. That's such mm -hmm. good artwork. It is. So it's one of my favorite pieces. Wow. Yeah, very nice. I see some Murexes popping up. This is my up. little Murex collection. So we've got the Indiva. Indiva. Some people call it Indiva. Yeah. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. <laughs> Bill Snipes. Bill Snipes. Or well really it's Snipes Bill, but you know. 
We um, ain't, we ain't doing that. We found this on your beach when we were visiting you. Oh really? The little apple mirror. And you know those are so rare. Yeah. Around on the east coast. Yeah. Remember you found it. And mm-hmm. you gave it to I couldn't you. believe it. Oh. I was like, oh my god. So that's, and then the black and white. Yep, a black and white murex. And the um, cabbage. Cabbage. And these hold that up for them because that's really this beautiful. It's really pretty. I to me this is the most beautiful murex because it's got pink lines going down. And then yeah. blackish brown stripes horizontally wrapping around the murex. Their murex has very, um, very good points on it, and mm-hmm. it's not too big. It's not small. It's like a happy medium, and it's just, just beautiful. I mean, how many shells have that so, mix of color? So smooth. Yeah. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. You have a good Murex collection. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, this is our prize. Our, Woo! Our very... My goodness. Yes. Look at that large pink Murex, we, guys. We bought this from you. I know. Just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I just... It's seeing it in a different light, in a different house. It's just like, wow. I mean, look. Look at the points. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. So we love that. I love that. And then we have a little mummy whelk down here. Mummy murex. Mummy murex. I like these. Always have. I don't know why. I know. Their real name is not mummy, but we call it mummy. Yeah. I just like the way it's. It looks like it's wrapped like a mummy. Yeah. I love that. (laughs) So the, oh, and then we've got a... Oh, yes. This is a, the turtle. It's got pretty nice points. So this was quartz yeah, carved. Yeah, this is quartz carved. Oh, the matrix. Yep. And look, the, the crystals actually go all the way. You know, that's really cool. The center. And he he got very bright, vibrant as soon as I waxed him a little bit. Yeah, the color is more vibrant. It is a lot more vibrant than Especially I remember. Especially the dark pieces. And then it's got an octopus friend back here, I yes, see. Yes, he's got an octopus friend. He's got little tiny... <laughs> little crystals on yeah. the side there. Yeah. So that, again, this is another quartz carved... Little carving. Carving. Which we, yep. we seem to love. Yep. So that was the first and second shelf. Mm -hmm. And then moving down to the third one. Or I'm sorry, third one. Yeah, third one. This is our cowrie collection. I try to put one of each kind in so I can see what I have. Yeah, we got a morning cowrie, um, Mappa. Uh, We've got Tiger, uh, Money. uh, Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, Stevel. Stevel. there's a, isn't there a deer? Ring top. There, this is either lynx or a deer. Yeah. I, um, I want to say this is the lynx. We've got egg wart, egg top. I don't remember. Oh, this is lynx and that's deer. Oh. Yep. Little warted egg. Warted egg. Mole. Purple top. Yeah. So. And then uh, this, this is our prize. Oh, that's the prize. prize. Yes, yes. With the seahorse with the really, really long points. Oh, wow. I yeah. think that's my favorite one. Yeah. Look at the, hold on. I've got to get close. Look at those points, you guys. Take that, Tucson Gem Show. Mm-hmm. Bam. That's at my mom's house. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, those crystal <laughs> points. They're saying they're enjoying your collection, by oh, the way. Oh, thanks. And this is another flower that I made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a surf, a surf clam. You, they're very common. You can find them on the beach every day. And then I just took some abalone and some urchin some, spines. Some tiger urchin spines. Tiger urchin spines and just kind of glued them all together. Got a, a, a dove, you got a blue green limpet. Yep, yep. So that was handmade by you? Yes. Can you lift it up and so we sure. can see the back? 
They're saying it's beautiful. They're saying hello. This is one of my first. This is how I started. That so, Yeah, that's how you started, right? Right. You, I don't do this anymore, but that's what that's how I started. And I love I, it. I'm I, glad you kept it to see yeah, the progress. Yeah. I just start and I just start gluing. I don't use a pattern or anything, as you can see. And you like <laughs> to start from the back and work your way front, no, right? I start from the center. Oh, you start from the center. I, I start these shells in the center. This is last. Okay. These are all, the decorative stuff is last. So. That is so pretty, Mom. Thanks. I like the big shells, the big flower shells. I need to, I just, sometimes I just sit down before I know it, I've got a big flower. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> you can clearly see if you go in my... my you know, got okay. it yeah where did you get that holder from by the way i got this from i think michael's okay that's easy we can everyone can get something like today. either that or joanne fabrics it was one of those two yeah, yeah. easy peasy yeah and then, and then Midgers made this. Yes, Midgers Spartan 99 on instagram she sent this to my mom as a gift it's two fishermen. She's got, it's amazing. She's got fishing poles. She's got a little pot of, of goodies, sea glass, and starfish. It's so cute. We absolutely love it. I mean, how creative do you have to be to I think know. of? And she's got a fish. People to make people out of seashells. I, I doing could, an activity on a bank with baskets with snacks. I, I don't know. I can do flowers, but the, I, there's no way I could do no, this. No, I would never. It's be, amazing. I know. Amazing. I could never think of that in a million years. No, and we're artsy. Mm-hmm. And then Ashley made this out of resin. Oh yes, yeah, so I just started doing resin. This was like one yes. of my first things. Yeah, so, so it was her little resin. Yeah, it's just a little a little fun, and it looks so cute with everything. You know, it does. It was like one of my first pieces, but it it turned out pretty good actually. <laughs> yes, it's so cute. Yeah, yeah. And I love this, the bear, the yes. bear. Ball. I love these. They're, I do too. I just love the the decorative um, scalloped edge. I just want to put stuff just in it. I love it. One of my faves. Oh yes, and they said that the people is just so out of the box. It's just yes. it's such good thinking. I, I know it's amazing. And this is amaturine, okay. a citrine, and amethyst. Yep. It's a piece. Just so you can see the kind of the citrine there a little bit. So this piece has more amethyst than mm -hmm. citrine in it, right? I think it's got the citrine here, and the rest of it is is pretty purple. And then if you're if you hold it up to the right light, I think it's, yeah. it has rainbows. So if I get out right? of the way. Oh, there we go. Of the light. Oh, yeah, there we go. That looks good. Yeah, it's not blocking the light. Yeah, that looks good, Mom. Oh, yeah, so you can look. So the citrine, mm -hmm. you can see it running through right here. Yeah. I love amaturine because it's like yeah. a... a, a it, and I, oh, it's just so different and gorgeous. And I love the cards. They help me so much. I, I know. I still... I make cards and I still use them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And this is uh, the tur my little turbo collection. I, I love turbo shells. Um, so this is green turbo. That's just, magnificent. That's I, very I royal. I love the color. Just, it's, just, it's a gorgeous blue green. This, I just love it. I like how it's polished. Mm hmm. So, and yeah. it's big too. It's big, and this is the Turbo African Smarticus. Smarticus. Love these. I love the orange. This is one of my favorite shells. Yeah, it's just it's really pretty. It's, it's got every one of them's got just a little bit different pattern. So, got that. And this one I picked up in Sanibel. It's a pet. Pathrolatus with spots, something like that. <laughs> well, so it's called a um, pet. Petholatus. Petho. Petholatus. Yes, petholatus right. with spots. With spots. So I just thought that was neat. I like it. Um, it's smooth. 
It's a very like intriguing piece. It's okay. a statement display yeah. piece. Got some nice pattern there. And so I like that. And this is the, what you say, magpie? So it's a magpie, but people yes. also call it a meg pie. So oh. it goes either way, like mag or meg. It's, it's whichever you want, tomato, tomato. I like the black. There aren't many pretty black shells. No, yeah. Love the black. And then this is the, um, I guess this is just a pearlized turbo. Yep. White. Yeah. And it's got... A yeah, pretty color. Some nice natural markings on it that are yeah, darker in the corners. Very shiny. It's real pretty. Yeah. Love that. I love the star shell right here you have yes. in the front. This looks pretty good. And so this one is actually shiny if you hold it. There it's we go. Peach colored. Peachy with a little bit of shimmer to it. Yeah. It reminds me of the sunstone crystal. Yeah. Pretty's got that little. Very nice. It looks fragile, but it's actually more durable than mm. you like when once you hold it in your hand. This is a sunburst carrier shell. It picks up all the hitchhikers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's some sand. Oh, good sand. <laughs> Life on the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody that lives on the beach has a clean floor. No. It's like the third or fourth time today. It's, a, it's a, something nobody tells you until you experience it. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I did. So ever since I was younger. There. There you go. Just slap it on the counter. <laughs> Uh, ever since I was growing up, my we always um, we grew up in well, I grew up in Florida my whole life, but yeah. she always had a lot of shells and yeah, I don't know they've always been on the wall in the room, pine cones, books, shells, <laughs> all kinds of fun just stuff. nature in general. Mm -hmm. And we traveled a lot, so we yeah. had pine cones mm -hmm. and, and furs and yeah, moss and moss, wildflowers and all kinds of yeah. decorations. Well, these are the ton shells. These are. Pretty light, but I like them. Can you imagine the creature in that? No, I don't want to imagine it. <laughs> yeah, this one is so much whiter. It Let's is. Look at them. <laughs> well, now I kind of want to Google the animal that comes out. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. <laughs> yeah. And then we have a Scotch bonnet. Right. We have a milk Caribbean milk moon snail, all white. We've got knobby starfish. So these are um, actually they are all connected. Yeah, you had a we had a plant in it, but we mm -hmm. don't right now. Yeah, usually there's an air plant in there, but um, well, right now there's gonna be a crystal instead yeah, it's a crystal. <laughs> until further until notice. I figure something out. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> We have a large orange uh, lion's paw back here. So this is the inside of the lion's right. paw. And then if you flip it over, oh, it's a brown one. Yeah. Oh, it fooled me. Yeah. A brown lion's paw. I just love this side more. I do too. We should gloss that up a little bit. I should. Oh, I should. Mm-hmm. So yeah, love those. Love I just that. love the purple and the peach. Yeah. So I'm like Midge, I, I love purple you're a peachy person peachy and yes and then some urchins Th look how the name i mean it. that thing is as big as your head that big old gator urchin so that's about four and a half five inches <laughs> and it's purple and green purple and green and this one is um, your tie urchin also tie. purple that thing is thick yeah those won't break Maybe the gator will. They're both, they're, they're pretty good. You could fit a couple of those tie urchins in that gator. Yes. <laughs> and you made this. Ah, made that for you. Yes, we made that. I saw, <laughs> I created that little guy when I was trying to make a YouTube video one night. Well, not try, I did. Babylona shells and large orange augers. Yeah. Little googly eyes. Yeah. And little <laughs> owl. Mom like made. A turtle. The mom made the turtle <laughs> hanging out with the giraffe. So mom made the um, turtle, the sea turtle with Florida spiny jewel boxes and an owl limpet. We had these last night. We had these last night. We did a live sale last night with my uh, 
with some artwork. This is the uh, Florida Spiny Jewel Box is this, feet. Is this the one you kept for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. I, I just love the dark shells and the um, egg-warted yeah. calorie. That calorie works Nose. really good for a face. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. And then on the stand here, you have a sphere. Green adventuring. So green adventuring. Yeah. Ah, Event. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Such a good idea to label them like that. And I'm not sure what this guy is. So that is a, let me see it. That is a vole shell. V O L E. Okay. Uh, it's very nice. Look at the whorl or the spiral. Oh, yeah. That is very pretty. And it's, this is kind of a peach. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very pretty. Very smooth here. And then it has the ribs. Very pretty. It's a very pretty shell. Yeah. And then over here, oh. standing up, we have the clam. The, the polished clam. Oh, yes. A polished clam. I love these. I do, too. Very heavy. Got very some, beautiful. Got some yellow running through it. If I get out of the light. <laughs> oh, right. We're in the... We're creating shadows. Yeah. But look at that. Just a nice pearled clam half. Mm -hmm. I guess something. <laughs> Must have been in a fight. <laughs> maybe it had a pearl there. Pearl yeah. there and there, maybe. Yeah. And look how thick. I don't know, maybe where he got chipped there. Maybe. It looks like a pearl was in that corner, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. And then back here. You have a twist muscle pair. Yeah, twist muscle pair. I love this pattern. And then it's a pair, so it's really naturally twisted like that. Yeah. Isn't that so funny? Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. And so interesting. I would like to see the animal that comes yeah. out of that as well. And this is a strombus. Canarium. Canarium. That. Strombus canarium shell. This is heavy. It is heavy. And thick. Very pretty on top. Very pretty. That would look good in the bowl. Kind of like how you have these yeah. uh, calories all grouped together with the same species. Yeah. And then these are. Ah, I got the. Uh, king. So it looks like uh, queen. queen. So you got the queen right here and the cassis. So this is known as a uh, of like a carving shell. Oh. So whenever you go through museums and years and years ago they would carve, you know, paintings and artwork. Oh, this, this is, is the it? shell. This is the shell that you see necklaces made out oh, of. Oh, and I didn't know that. Yep, cassis. C-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. Right, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. They're so different. I know. This one's got big, big knobs. I yeah. wonder if these are sharp uh, when you find them. I don't know. Original. You know what? That actually is a king. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, that is a king. small apron. Yep, king helmet. Oh, and it it's... You know, they look so much alike. When, the, when shells are so small they in their baby, they kind of look the same sometimes. Yeah, because the queens are much more yes. developed. So you've got the king. Mm -hmm. Look at the tops. The so tops good. are sometimes the best part of the shell. Yeah. So that's that. And that's about it. Wow. So that is just the collection that she has in her living room, you guys. And so we have some questions about some paintings. Okay. Um, their eye in this painting over here, the turtle. Oh, the turtle. Uh, yeah, that was one of my first ones. I did it in 2008. It's acrylic. Uh, yeah, that's how I started out. So this was one of your first paintings? One you... of my very first paintings. On acrylic or just in general? In general and acrylic, yes, wow. both. 
And then over here, we have another painting by you. Please ignore our um, uh, antler uh, lampshade. Lamp. <laughs> Father. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, just a house full of antlers here. <laughs> <laughs> all right so so other than all these antlers hanging around we have another <laughs> another acrylic painting on a 24 by 36 so where did you get the inspiration for this painting uh, a key west painter uh, that's where i got uh, inspiration from wow yeah so you've got your you know your palm tree the roosters that are always in key west yeah. some queen kongs even back then before i really started collecting shells there are shells. yeah there are shells you've always yes. liked shells isn't that funny yeah yeah so that's an acrylic painting yeah. Yeah. this is an acrylic painting and this is um inspiration from north florida in the yeah. springs that's exactly right exactly what we used to see yes. yeah and then if we go over here yeah that was just something that uh i loved the fl flowers so uh that's that's and one of my favorite colors is this like cream beige mm -hmm. so that's that's just yeah that's what happened <laughs> <laughs> and i think you so, still have a vase that looks just like that right in the house well, sort of no, it's yeah. that one that we were showing last night so that's acrylic yeah. And that's on what twenty four by uh, four let seventy. Think. Let me think. Uh, five foot by two foot. Five foot by two foot. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. And then if and we uh, everything else is kind of put away. Um. Yeah. You have any other paintings around here? No, they're mm -hmm. all kind of. I rotate them. So. Can we see your organization in your office real quick? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to cover you guys up real quick just because she didn't know that uh, we were going to do a full house tour. <laughs> so I'm just going to... It's so messy. <laughs> All right. Even there you go. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> so my dad just dropped something. <laughs> yeah, so... This is mostly craft shells. Mm -hmm. Some of them I just love and collect. So I just label them and then they're alphabetized. And what I love about it is I can pull it out, go sit down and craft. So I just grab out the bins that I want. And it's just, it's so user friendly. So I clean them and I polish them. They go in these little drawers and and then I just come over here and kind of start creating. So where did you get these? Um... I got these at the container store. Okay. And I love them. They're not very deep. The cabinet is this deep. So I could literally stack three of these cabinets mm -hmm. on this shelf. And then, so dad, so this is a guest bedroom yes. they have. And my dad custom built her shelves for her crafts. Mm-hmm. And storage, because Florida has no storage. Right. <laughs> and right. so we all, so mom has um, some other storage here. Yeah. She fancied it up. Stickers, <laughs> magnets, tea and honey, tape, glue, bags, more bags. We've got um, jewelry making um, yeah. tray. We've got a, a paper cutter. I saw my watercolor paper and watercolor books. Watercolor, label makers. Yep, yep. And then... I've got some of these note cards that everybody likes and more supplies. <laughs> They're saying very impressive. If only we could all be this organized. I definitely need those. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what's going on down here? Well, this is my, my sample drawer so that I don't have to rethink how to, you know, what to make. Right. So I can just say, oh, yeah, I made that. Maybe I'll make a few more. That's a good idea. Yeah, so it's it's sample. So it's not a one and gone. Right, and then these are samples to, like, last night I actually rated this for you all. <laughs> but this is my sample magnet, so I don't have to rethink it. And But 
I raided it last night, and most of it's <laughs> actually gone. <laughs> we had a live sale it's last so night, and it was mainly all my mom's crafts because I'm over here visiting. <laughs> and we always have her stuff. She has an Etsy page. You're so Pinteresting. Um, but last night was really all about her. It was her first real sale. And we filled it in with a, you know, a few gaps of crystals and shells. But this was, it was mainly it's her. And it, everything was selling so well. So, she ran to the back and started raiding her like other, other boxes. Box. My sample box. <laughs> so oh mama Janie says your mom is truly inspiring thank you for sharing her with us she is delightful oh, thank you how about this painting behind you oh yeah this is my horse Paco or it was before I moved to the beach and that's my trailer and that's the woods where we used to ride off from yeah that's our old house yeah yeah we had three hurricanes hit that house yes we did yep yes Paco um was uh you wrote him english western yeah. western In english english that's yeah, an english saddle and he was terrified of that trailer and it took years with pirelli lessons to finally get paco in that trailer it was good after that he yeah he loved to go yeah so the fact yeah. that this painting is him trying with this trailer is it yeah. sums it mm -hmm. up it sums pa so paco is still around by the way yeah, he's Still there yes. at the same house. Same house. So new owners yeah. took Paco. I, he got to stay home. He got to stay home with his other little friends. Yeah, he couldn't come to the beach. No. <laughs> and then... You can show them... Okay. Oh, so, you can show them that show. So this is her off. So it's the guest bedroom, but really her office. So this is her crafting area. Yep. And the photo... So the paint... All the paintings you see in the house are from her. So on the top here... This was a couple years ago, right, Mom? Yeah, many years ago. Many years. Mm -hmm. Mom, and, you want me to grab it? No, it's okay. okay. So this is an acrylic on 12 by 24. And um, this was actually a place you've, well, you've probably been now, but before it was a place in Italy, right? Yeah, yeah. We've been to Italy and just... You know, they, their buildings are so interesting, and they have so many beautiful plants laying around. So we just just thought I'd do one. And again, I love this, the stucco, the cream stucco building. Yeah. Look. So. And then over here. These are possibly some of the crafts that are coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a fish swimming. So swimming through some seaweed, some coral, just hanging out down down in the bottom of the ocean, mm -hmm. doing his fishy things. He's got a friend here. It's kind of like a, a halfy, like, like a, a cat. Blowfish. Like a blowfish. <laughs> oh. What do you call it? You blowfish. So on one side, it looks like that. And if you flip them, it looks like that. I tease, it's like when you get tired of looking at him this way, you just flip him over and he's a whole new fish. <laughs> now this horse statue in the back, she has had forever. I love him. And he's so cute. <laughs> Where did you get this from? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Bought him 40, 50 years ago, I don't know. I just love him. He's a little caricature. He's cute. <laughs> and then we have, uh, let's see... Another Caribbean milk moon snail. Yeah. A flower. Look, a small <laughs> flower, you guys. This is things about to like grow and blossom into a five footer <laughs> yeah. in a week. Yeah, that's what I do. Sunray <laughs> Venus. <laughs> Seems to be it, the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> He's only small right now for the next hour. And then we have a beautiful crystal. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Apocalyte in quartz. That's so Isn't pretty. that gorgeous? Let me zoom in here. That's pretty. Yeah, so beautiful. That's really nice to keep on the desk. I love the gray. A nice piece of uh, fluorite. Dream, oh, amethyst. Dream, amethyst. Dream yeah. amethyst. Dream amethyst. Dream amethyst. That's a nice good point. Yeah. You do love purple, don't I, you? This is like my purple, well, blue lace. Oh, you love blue lace. Yeah, blue lace and... I love my purple flower. Again, I think I've got Sunray Venus flower, and I just love these. These are um, egg. I forget what those were. 
Oh, let me flip it over one more time. What are those? Oh, script scallops. Oh, yes, yeah. script scallops, and this is the sun and moon. Yes. Yeah. And you got a little bumblebee, uh, sea snail in there, yeah. tiger urchins, yeah. little va- baby mini um, Venus mm-hmm. clams. Sunray Venus. Sunray Venus clams. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And this is something I'm thinking of making to bring to the live. It's a little sea fan. That's really pretty. With the uh, mussel shells. Well, I guess it's better that way. And then the little amethyst pieces and the pearl troches and the... Um, Center, uh, those are cerithium. Center cuts. Vertigus. Center cuts. And then this lion. Yeah, he's just somebody I painted. So this is watercolor. Yeah, it's watercolor. So her specialty is watercolor. That's what I like to do now. It's her fave. Yeah, that's her go-to. That's my go-to. She likes acrylic, but at the end of the day, she mm-hmm. always... Yeah. <laughs> goes towards the watercolor palettes. Yeah, yeah. So this is just a line you saw and or you just thought of and just I I, I got the idea online. Online and, and you just, just looked it up. Yeah. How long does it take you to do? A uh, couple days, couple sessions. Oh wow. Yeah. I I only paint for maybe thirty minutes, forty five minutes and then I stop. Nice. Because after that I get sloppy. Your spider plant. Yep, my spider plant. She's got a massive spider plant that won't stop making babies, you guys. <laughs> Her next shop will be a, a spider plant shop. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here, what's this? This is where I keep my paints. Okay. And I have little sample cards for all my paints so I know what color they are. And I just, I just look at it and decide what I want to color. What color I need, and that's what I do. And then I have paint trays full of paints. My main one. This is my main one. Whoa! And then I just put different colors in, and oh, I like it. I like the messy <laughs> paint. I like this. Yeah. This is something so soothing about a, an artist that has. Like a messy um, palette. Pal- palette. It's yeah. like, yeah, oh, it's just satisfying. <laughs> Thank you. It means work's been. It's like artist in action. Then I have more trays, different colors. Oh yeah. So. Nope. Nice. <laughs> Tiger's eye. <laughs> Tiger's eye. <laughs> it's a good shelf to move around. Yeah. And then her view, by the way, is oh, yes, is of the ocean. It's right there. <laughs> so she can see a sunset, which we'll be sharing with you guys in about an hour. And let's see, there is a sun catcher. And here is a, a, a turbo shells we just showed. Oh, yeah. I tried to do a painting. Are we selling those? We will be. We will be. Yeah, if anybody's interested, we can. Okay. So these will be for sale tonight, maybe, mm-hmm. or soon. Yeah, soon. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have more more crafting um, more crafting bins. These are my main. So let me get the full yeah. visual here for everybody. These are my main. This is what I mainly work out of because they're small. So I will just, um, you know, pull things out take them to my desk and, and then you have everything labeled so you know exactly what the yeah, shell or like crystal is called green right? crystals and and I just keep you know every time I get an order or buy from Ashley I just rearrange everything and I keep my cards here that I get from her uh, my little googly eyes googly eyes um, bubble and rice Ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Bubble and rice. Bubble um, and rice. It sounds like a dish at a restaurant. Yeah. So let's see. Flat coils and gar scales. You're so organized. <laughs> you know, it's fun for me to organize. Like mini troches. Yeah. 
Um, those are so good for crafting. Yeah, so you got those. And I love the bumblebees. Love the bumblebees. So I've got the, the main one in the center cuts. Um, tiger urchin spines. Oh. Little pieces and then bigger pieces. Oh my gosh, you have them organized with thick and thin. And then I have the great big ones over in the big... I'll be right back. I'll, yeah, I gotta okay. go home and organize. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've got three. Oh, my gosh. So, I've got... Oh. Small, medium, and large. Wow. <laughs> You're so organized. I only keep one, each shell in one spot. Wow. I'm so inspired right now. Yeah. I just want to go and so get I my just... label maker. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this drawer. This is incredible. No space is wasted. <laughs> None. <laughs> and so I have a question. So yes. what is up here? Uh, these are my pot sitter samples. Okay. So I don't have to recreate them. So if something is uh, very um, popular on the sale, I try to uh, keep it here. Or in some of these, most of these have never even been out, but they could be. <laughs> yeah. So basically, these are flowers that sit on the side of your flower pot. See, I've made a little... And they can do... Yeah, there you go. You know, you can put them here. You put them anywhere. <laughs> you, you can just stick this stuff anywhere <laughs> on a pot. There's a pot. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a pot. And I just, I just, I'm sorry, I've just got stuff What everywhere. is that giant flower? Uh, as you what all is know, that? As you all know, I love flowers. Oh my God, it's a mask. Again, the sun ray Venus is my friend. <laughs> oh my God. That, you can put two heads behind that. So, I can't help it. Again, my early days. Um, oh my God. I know. Who needs a real flower when you have a fake flower and, and this is one of my newer ones <laughs> it's not that big yet sun ray venus of course i guess you're not done no i'm done <laughs> <laughs> i'm done okay <laughs> <laughs> this was my inspiration for my pot sitter oh cute that, yeah that's how it started that's yeah. the, he's so this turtle started it all that's how i got the idea <laughs> Oh. Okay, and then so before we wrap this up, what other paintings do you have? Uh, well, they're kind of all put away. Well, here's one more. I just was doing a pop of light and quartz, and then one of the um, muscle and turquoise starfish. Yeah. So we actually we um, sell a lot of these. We sold this one last night yeah. during our live sale, my mom's live sale last night. Yeah. So it's it's kind of cool. You have that. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Sample. It's like your sample. Yeah. I'm going to try to do more of these. <laughs> yeah. But, um, and then show them your flamingo, too, because some people oh, didn't see that. Okay. So you have a cute flamingo. This is watercolor. This is watercolor on Yupo paper, which is a paper that's not cotton. It's a polyester. So the paint has to dry on the paper. It, it The paper will not absorb it. So it's it's uh it's it's like a plastic almost. It's synthetic. So and it it's hard to paint on because it dries as you can see it it dries differently. I like it. Though. But yeah, I've done a, a several things on the Yupo. It's it's still fun. Mhm. Mm you know when you look at the paper, this paper compared to say So here's here's oh, your here regular go. cotton and it, it's different. So, so this is a hundred percent cotton. Let me back up so you guys can see. So that's the difference. So the Yupo paper is whiter and brighter, mm -hmm. and it's more clear and more kind it's of crisper. It's crisper, yeah. Yeah, it's brighter. This almost gives it like an uh, acrylic look from from far away. Yeah, if course, you didn't know better. There's not much color here, but yeah. Well, yeah. And so this is cotton too, and you can get brilliant. Mm-hmm. But that was just something I was playing with. Yeah. I like it. Ocean. And um, can I show them your big spider plant? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cover you guys up because it was uh, 
not ex- we weren't expecting to go this far. So we are in another bedroom and there is the ocean. And let me show you the intracoastals over there. So this is the mother of all mother spider plants. Look at all the babies dangling. And then if you look up above it, my mom painted that as well. We've had this painting forever, right, Mom? Yeah, yeah. So this was one of your first? Yeah, I mean, we painted for a few, I did acrylic for a few years and then stopped because I was too busy with the horses. Yeah. yeah. But look, even back then, once again, you have a fish <laughs> in the vase. And and the ocean in the back. And now, mm -hmm. if you look, she has an orchid plant that's actually about to bloom any day now. Look at those massive roots. And the ocean is right there. Did you ever realize that your painting would turn into reality? No. And it's right there? No. <laughs> so we have a Buddha here. Mm -hmm. And she took one of her small, small... Let's note that. Let's flowers. see what, Oh, it's a surf clam. My gosh. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little lotus flower. It is. Mm -hmm. And then she also keeps quartz, rose quartz and a glass of water. For the plant. For the plant. And now what does that do for the plant? It waters it essentially. It, it draws the moisture up through its roots. And that's how it likes to get its water. Look at that orchid. It's going to be beautiful in about two days. And then if we walk over here, we have a seashell tie back. And that just goes around. Some people use these at weddings. A lot of people use these around their lamps or around, you can use them around your curtains. And then she's got an angel aura crystal cluster. Again, this is real quartz and all it is is treated and um, it's treated with, I can't remember off the top of my mind, but um, it gives it that sparkle, that aura. It's kind of got a pink, pinkish. Yeah. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's beautiful. And then she made a scene here. That's a sea fan. A sea fan with a fish swimming through it with Unikite at the very bottom. And his little flip flopper, his little flipper is Lab. I think it, yeah, it's one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you one more painting and then we are going to go eat dinner because we have a live sale in an hour, so please hold. <laughs> All right. And then, oh, I gotta back up. This is a monster painting. So this is, again, a five foot by three foot painting. Mm -hmm. And this matches another painting that we have, that she has in the house. It's done on acrylic. And again, it's just some inspiration she found in Italy. In Italy. Before she ever went to Italy, mm -hmm. she was flipping through books, has always wanted to go to Italy. She finally made it, but this was before. Mm -hmm. You did good. I think you nailed nice. it. <laughs> must have liked it. So I am going to flip you guys around so we can say goodbye to you. Hi. Okay, bye. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the tour through my mom and dad's house. My dad is cooking dinner right yeah. now. We have a live sale at 7.30. It's 6.37 right now. We're going to eat. And some of my mom's crafts are going to be on tonight. We're going to have shells and crystals and whoever else. Who knows? We always have stuff coming and going, and something always happens. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to show you the sunset, too, in the very beginning, so don't miss that. But thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the tour of her organization and her artwork and her displays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>